<laughs> Hello, YouTube. Hi, hi, it's me. Hi. All right. Uh, we have, all right, so we're back and we're going to do another build tutorial thing. All right. So what I've noticed as I have looked back at the videos that I've done and looked at how many people viewed and how many people liked and all that kind of stuff, the smaller the build for the starter house, the more that people seem to like it. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to keep this builder here pretty small. Our build for today, I'm going to try to keep it pretty small. But at the same time, I want to make it interesting, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take some rocks off of the face of this, okay? So I know that kind of seems like there would be something hard to do, but anytime you're taking rocks off of the face of whatever you're doing, that means you're gaining material, okay? So as we're going through, of course, it's just real simple. Just try to... We're going to try to take it down, but at the same time, we're going to try to leave some of the textures and stuff so that we can uh, improvise another layer uh, of what was naturally generated. So and we got that. And so over here, we're going to do about the same thing. All right. Now, after we kind of do that right there, let's kind of take this right here down a little bit more. We're going to replace that. All right. Now. We're going to take that since we've done and we're going to now, now if you're doing the Shahir in survival mode, the Shahir would be something that you would have to, you would have to smelt up your, your stone and everything. Okay. All right. So we have successfully built out a little bit more of a cliff. So if we come over here to the side and we look over, we're actually right at the same level as this wall right here not too bad not too shabby we really could come in a lot further the one thing i don't like i don't like it when the 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 terrain even though we come in here and chiseled it out i don't like it when it doesn't look like it's natural you know like it should look at least a little bit natural there we go yeah all right so we have a, a nice little cliff here so now the next thing we want to go in and we want to build our our floor okay so we're really going to get started on the build now okay so again we're going with the starter house now one two three four five six seven eight nine that's it okay we're going with nine let's go over a little bit further and that way we can drop a corner down right here okay now we're going with nine there so one two uh, that's three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight and that should square that right there off so now we're doing a nine it's go, it's not a ten by ten it's a it's a nine by nine all right we're going to stick with the odd numbers that's going to be the interior so all the rest of the builds for this series they're all going to be uh similar in this size okay i, I want to keep them very small now to do this right here you see how much we are coming out across the top. Now we're going to have to add some supports and stuff like that coming back in here. So we're going to go from here. We're going to use this dark oak that's right over here next to us. And we're going to come up with some corners and sides and stuff like that. All right. So, and then down here, this right here is actually going to just be the supports. We can come in there kind of like that. All right. Now that there's not where we're going to leave it by no means. All right. But that's kind of going to get us an idea of where we need to be. Okay. That's kind of what I'm looking for here. And then come out and then up one, two, three, out again, up and out. That's going to work out kind of good. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's actually go, let's go up to, to, see, I don't want to go two, two, two. See that? So that goes two, two, and two, and then one, one. I don't want to do that. I want to do that. All right. And we'll come back and fill those there in. Now, uh, because of that, we're actually going to do from here. Let's go down here and across. And again, that's going to give us kind of that brace look. All right. Then we're going to come right here in the center. 
we're gonna come in with that all right what these are here these are uh mimicking floor joists all right so we got the full block then we're gonna come in here with some half blocks and everything we're gonna fill out the rest of the bottom that way if we ever approach here from the bottom the bottom has some texture and uh and it'll look a little bit more realistic let's go ahead and jump out and let's go slab right there we're gonna go with the dark oak still and then we're gonna go with the stair all right now what we're gonna do here um um yes 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 and i'm not sure i like that mm, if we came down here and went like that that's gonna be a straight angle right there and that is not what i want i don't want that <laughs> all right so we need to pull out this this and this all right and we need to back this right here up some all right um all that did was back there right there up it didn't give me a better uh, that's not gonna work because that's only gonna give me one i can't put one here as well i can go there or there huh um hmm. i know what i gotta do here we gotta go with that with the full block that's where we're messing up okay so if we go here with the full block right and then we go kind of like that and then we can go here and here all right swoops down hmm i don't like it i don't like it i think our problem may be that we're going up too high we're starting up too high there we go that's gonna look a little bit better see so we started up here we, we was trying to go down too low i think um and so we're able to now do that there we go that's got a nice little swoop to it it's not i mean it's not the best swoop but i need this right here to go out a little bit there we go there we go something like that ah yeah that gave it right there that gave it the whole look that, that looks like a big old arch sticking out there ain't that amazing now what we can do from there though um yeah yeah buddy yeah now now we're talking all right uh yeah that right there fills it out look at that now we need to duplicate that on the other side all right so you can see i mean i'm gonna make a time lapse out of this right here and that's gonna look really really neat but it just takes some time sometimes you gotta uh, stop and start working things out okay and so you see that that how how nice this right here looks once we're all said and done but it did not start that way and i kept working with it and because i'm in creative now and now when i go back so i can actually come in here and replace every other block with a uh with a with like a, a birch wood block or whatnot like that and that way i can uh i can rebuild this right here by just a picture instead of having to come over here and look at it so um anyhow <laughs> just things you can do all right things you can do to help you out in this and when you're going from creative to to not okay let's got that side and of course here we're going to we're actually going to go out an entire block right here exactly the same then we're going to come out step down and then we come out again then we're going to go up here this one right here is not going to be as clean because we cut we're cutting into the side of that uh that stone right there all right here we're going to get a block down then here's going to be a stair there 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 and now i think we're going to be you know, just like that and then here's going to be block block here we're going to do this right here with a stair block right there that's thick that's thick all right um right there okay yeah there you go there you go all right so that builds out that side this side over here i don't think we're gonna go too far back this i think that goes in like that and i think that's where we're gonna leave this side okay so we started to build the exact same thing but because it goes into the stone over here we can't go too far back okay so and i'm gonna leave it like that i'm gonna leave it i know that it would be best to uh, you would think that it would be best to come in here and dig it back so that you see your brackets on both sides and all that stuff but again when you're building things aren't don't always necessarily work out to where they're just perfectly symmetrical and all that stuff okay so we, it's okay to leave it all right so now we've got our brackets and we've got our beam our beam is going to go across now again the interior of this build is only going to be the 10 by 10 
So let's go ahead and take the the slab. So we're going to go with oak again. We're going to look at the slab. So oak slab. And again, in here, we're just going to go with the top portion. That way, from the underside, it's going to look like the uh, the the joist that I was talking about earlier. Joist. Uh, if you've ever heard of a stud inside of a wall, so you have uh, you have your drywall that's on the outside of most of your walls. Inside of your drywall, you have wooden studs, and that's what. Oh, I fell. All right. Uh, that's what is kind of like the bones of your of your walls, and so. It, underneath your floors, if you don't have a slab floor, if you have a concrete floor, uh, then you're not going to have this, of course. But if you have a raised floor, uh, then you're going to have joist that's, that uh, support your, your your flooring and everything. So uh, this is going to be, it's hard to, it's hard to do this with the oak as your exterior. I think we're going to take, why don't we take and go, I tell you what, we'll just we're going to do this right here with trap doors. Uh, we're going to come back and and kind of dress up the outside with trap doors. But for now, let's take the oak plank. So again, we're going to go with oak again. We're going to go with oak stripped oak. All right, and then we're going to go up with that, and that's going to give us our our house. Now, what we're going to do to hide this flooring is we're going to go with um, we'll take this right here. Now, something else you can do is you can go in here with signs, but I'm going to try to do this right here with trap doors just to try to give it a little bit of depth right here on the base and not have it fill out too much. I'm going to skip that right there because I know that I'm going to put a door over there on that side at some point. Tell you what, I'm not going to do that. Not going to do that. Okay. Um, because I just thought about something else I can do. Let's do. I want to do steps so we can come in here with oak steps I got all kinds of stuff going through my mind possibilities I can come in here with oak steps and go this way now again we're not changing the the interior dimensions okay mm, that's a slab that's a slab okay all right so here we're gonna go all the way across and so what we've done is we've given the outside some uh some dimension all right so everything is kind of looking good. I want to, I'd really love to move this thing right here over one. And that just works out for my doorway. But does, is it going to work out for this? Urgh. I don't know that it is. We're going to see. Yeah, I mean, it'll work. It'll work. Okay. So the inside dimensions of our house is still going to be the same. I still want it to be the nine by nine. Okay. Let's do, yeah, like that. Okay. Yay. All right, so we have a house that is beginning to take shape. Whew. I didn't know if we'd get this far. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got some beautiful brackets down here that are that are supporting our house. All right, and and we've got so I think at this point we want to start coming in here with some stone. So let's take some cobblestone. Um, do you want to do the field? I think we could do the field with cobblestone. Let's do the field with cobblestone. Let's do stair. Nope. I don't want to do the roof of this. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we're going to go with fence. Let's go with some dark oak fence. And we're going to come up in here. I think we went two back there. There we go. That's it. That's looking good. That's looking real good. All right, now here we're going to come up one more block because we're going to have to come around with other blocks to fill in that gap. All right, and then also we don't have to. We don't necessarily have to. I think we could go with like a lean-to. We could go up really high over here and come down really low back here. So... It would look like this and it would be a lean to that faces the ocean and that would be really cool and then that way we could come in here and do this pull that right there up some and that right there would look so much better and we can come in there with some stairs just to kind of block our right area that would be really neat if we did a lean to kind of awesome what do y'all think <laughs> but how are we going to roof it now 
of course we'd have to come in here with slabs let's do let's do some some let's just look up slabs okay so now we're out here on a stony beach i think it it would be really cool to come in here with some mossy okay so some mossy cobblestone and some cobblestone um let's start off with the outline mossy cobblestone and co stone okay that is going to go here one two one two one two okay we're going one then we got two two oops two two all right that makes a really really slick lean to what do y'all think i think it would need to just go straight right there for one more i kind of like it i kind of like it and it stays up off of our roof uh, a decent amount and that gives us a nice little outline so we're going to yep 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 i like it i like it let's come back and add a little bit of texture with the uh with the mossy and that's going to look pretty good as far as different colors and textures and stuff now if i'm mistaken let's see we came in here with that 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 all the way up on the other side okay so now that's going to i think that's going to look really are going to be some hard spots to get covered okay but i think we should be able to do it now let's come back after we've done this with the with the is there andesite this is a stone stony beach there is actually not any andesite out here at all uh, <laughs> you would think there'd be just a little bit of andesite here and there. there's some there's some right there look at that we got andesite so there's some around you just gotta find it i think we can do the field of this roof in the andesite and then i also want to come back and add a couple of details here in just a little bit so i got some things planned right now okay uh which is a good thing Let's go with andesite, and we're going to go with the andesite slab, of course. And then we can also go with uh, stone. Let's go with uh, stone slab. So, all right. So we've got a couple of different patterns here. Let's fill out this whole entire roof just according to the uh, the where the slabs and stuff right there are supposed to be at. Let's let's do that right there first. And then we'll come back and add some texture. We'll also come back and and do some uh, do some work with the textures and stuff like that. All right. So there's our roof filled out with that. Let's add. Ooh. All right. Now, also when I start stringing along my textures and stuff like that, okay, a lot of times you'll notice if you stand back from my build, I kind of string the the build along as if the or the textures and stuff along as if the textures themselves were like vines okay that's one way that you can use to kind of try to string your textures along and so it kind of helps to to try to give you that randomness but at the same time it gives you a, a reason why why is this why is this texture there it's because it was kind of like a vein that kind of ran through uh the the material and so uh, kind of helps you out just a little bit so you can also come in here and put some random things in there and so that's fine to do as well see and so you kind of get it strung along down here and then you got one or two pieces there and that's 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 good enough that's good enough you don't have to do anything else you know if i wanted to i could come in here and actually connect those and so now it's strung this way that way and then it come around this way so pretty cool pretty cool all right so now what that did what that's going to do is that's going to add these little funny things right here and so we're going to have to come in and fill those things that they're in with their respective block all right i know it's not going to look ideal and and we'll do something with that maybe by the end of the uh this this little episode or this little thing that we're doing uh but we'll we'll try to do something with it okay but you can see our build is kind of starting to take shape. So we got a nice little lean-to leaning off the edge of the cliff here. We have, I mean, it's a stony uh, rooftop. And and if you actually looked at it with a map, all you get to see is a couple little dots of green because this is a, this is, this is a, a stony beach. So we've got stony on stony. And then 
I want, actually want to come out here and do like a little, uh, do like a little porch area, but I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. We'll figure that there out here in a little bit. All right, let's work on the interior of the build. So in order to do the interior of the build, of course, we have to move our camera. So let's go ahead and move the camera. I'm over here at my other computer. So let's, I want to back up to where, now when we do shorts, we got to remember that the sides are going to be cut off. So now we got the sides cut off. Let's come in here and we're going to do the biggest thing first. So bookshelves. Okay. Then we're going to do enchanting. Then we're going to do some chests. Go ahead and grab an inner chest while we're in there. Then uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. How do we want it? So if we do five, that's going to take us all the way out to there. And that's pretty much what we're going to have to do uh, to be able to fit this in here. All right. So then we're going to take and go like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's going to have to be it. Now, good thing is because these are all slabs up above, that chest right there will actually open. So that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and put our ender chest right out here at the front door. Okay. Now, also, we're going to need a furnace system. And this right here is kind of small. So, ooh, where can we do that? Ooh, that's going to be hard. Let me go down here and look underneath. Yeah, that's going to be hard to do. Okay. Let's see what I've done. Okay. It's going to be, I tell you what we can do. I tell you what we can do. Um, let's do this. Boom, boom. All right, now, um, did we get everything placed over here? Yep. So let's go with the uh, furnace, and then we're also going to go with barrels, and then we're also going to go with hoppers, okay? So now we get our barrel there. Yep, 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 yep. That's the way that's got to go. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way that has to go. If that's going to fit in there, that's the way it has to go. Now, what I want to do over here, because it's not so good looking, uh, we can come in here underneath and grab some more of these trap doors. Hold, uh, hold shift and spacebar at the exact same time. And we can come in here and put in some trap doors so that we, we block off that kind of look right there. All right. And that's, uh, you know, that's going to make our, our build look a little bit rougher from the outside and that's fine. We can do that. I think I'm going to leave. I tell you what, let's do this right here. Let's put those there as well. And I think I'm just going to leave it open right there. No, nope, I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least close that hopper in and this hopper right here. In. There we go. That at least looks somewhat decent. All right. And then also let's, uh, let's do this right here. here. I don't think that gets in the way of any of these bookshelves. Does that get in the way of any of the bookshelves? I don't know. I'll tell you what, because I, I can waterlog that bookshelf right there, that that trap door right there. And so then we do water and brewing stand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so now that gives us an infinite water source for the, uh, for the brewing stand. I always like to have a, a bucket of water to have a cauldron right here is okay but if you if you don't have it's not infinite water source of course but it's infinite for the brewing because i can fill up as many bottles of water with a, a spot of water right there but if I, I come in here with a cauldron then i can only have like what is it like six or nine or something like that right there a bottles of water anyhow uh so that's got a lot of that right there done let's come in here with a bed of course and we always use the orange, orange. And we're going to put that there. Let's put another barrel right there. We have to have a storage. We don't have any storage. Let's see if we do that and open that right there up, we can go with, uh, I got some chest over here. There we go. Now, so now we got our big storage system. Let's put another. I uh, actually kind of wanted wanted it to have like I tell you what let's do uh because we're gonna need a couple of these as well we're gonna need at least one of those if not a 
tell you what, we'll do that. And then we'll do a, um, we always do a cartographer table and a smithing table. So if we replace that with that, and then we do that, actually replace this and do, there we go. We need grindstone and the anvil. Okay. Who wants an anvil? <laughs> Um, grindstone, we're going to hang from the ceiling. Okay. That's just kind of a done deal. Let's go ahead and put that up here. We can put it up there, right there. Yeah, we'll hang it right there. Okay. Then we're going to put the anvil. Where are we going to put the anvil? I really want to, I want to put the anvil right here and put the book. The, the, let's do that. Let's do, let's put this. No, because when that breaks, that's going to make a mess. Um, let's just put that back there. We're going to put this right there. And we're going to put that right there. Okay. Now, um, we could put another chest right here, but that's going to block out that window and that window is already pretty much blocked out anyway. So I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put, we'll put a pot, some planted stuff right there. But we need the glass, so we're going to go with some light blue. How about that? Light blue stained glass. There we go. We're going to give this right here a little bit different appearance. That didn't work at all. <laughs> who would who have thunk it? <laughs> all right. Uh, I tried. I tried. I tried. That ain't going to work either. So, <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, there it is. Um. I'm going to go through and do a little bit more beautification. Uh, but that, I mean, that is pretty much it. We have, we have come in and built out the interior of this house and, and did all we needed to do there. Uh, we did, let's put some, uh, let's put a lantern or two in here. Really and truly all you need is one. Like you need one well-placed lantern, like right here on top of the crafting table. And that is enough light for the entire house because <laughs> this place is small, very, very small. All right. Um, I tell you, what, let's do this. Let's do that and that, and then there, right. And then we can do some trap doors around the, or not some trap doors just like that. All right. Well, I know there wasn't a whole lot to that, but I think overall, I think this area looks really good. And I mean, it's a huge, it's a, really beautiful cliffside little house i know it's only it's a it's a 10 by 10 it's completely square there's a, you know but sometimes the best things just kind of work out like that i'm gonna, like i said i'm gonna come in and maybe do a little bit more with it i know it's gonna be a long process me sitting there staring at this thing trying to figure out what i need to do uh to make it look a little better here and there uh probably just like hang some chains or something from these little things down below or i don't i don't, I don't really know so um, I, but I'll work those things that they're out, uh, off camera. And that way you, I'm not sitting here boring you with that kind of stuff. And maybe, I mean, just little things like this, you know, like that, you know, that's a little, just a little thing that's going to try to help, you know, fill this build in a little bit. So <laughs> I'm going to sit back here and pick at it and not close out this video. All right. All right, <laughs> we're a preacher, and I appreciate you watching. <laughs> Let my camera count. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Uh, well, hey, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you learned a little bit about how to do like a nice little start house off the edge of a cliff. And uh, and so, anyhow, um, <laughs> if you like the video, please consider subscribing. Hey, comment down below. Tell me, tell me what you want to see more of. Uh, it really helps out when y'all give me feedback. I have, there's been a couple of different people that have told me, one guy told me I need to change up my music in, in my time lapses, right? My, my one minute videos. Guess what I did? I changed my, my music up. All right. But I changed up what I, what I was doing. Uh, I did. Uh, <laughs> so, Hey, tell me what you want, want me to do, what, what you want to see all the different videos, different stuff like that there that I make. I, the whole point of this, uh, the whole point of me making videos is to entertain you. Hey. My name is Preacher, and if I don't see you again, I hope to see you in heaven.